Tonight, Sunday night, WWE Network, we're about to go to the extreme. And ladies and gentlemen, we all know that Paul Heyman has said over and over, time in and time out again, that Brock Lesnar was going to cash in his money in the bank briefcase. But that has yet to happen because Paul Heyman has fooled us. He has pulled the wool over our eyes. He has made us realize. He has made us recognize. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, at Extreme Rules, there is going to be extreme punishment handed out at the hands of Brock Lesnar, potentially. Now, just because Paul Heyman announced that Brock Lesnar is going to cash in his money in the bank briefcase tonight and win either the World Heavyweight title from SmackDown or the WWE Universal title from Monday Night Raw, does it really even matter at this point because... We have been led to believe on many different occasions, on many different points, that Paul Heyman was going to have his client, Brock Lesnar, win either the SmackDown blue-branded WWE title or the red-branded Monday Night Raw Universal title. But neither of those things have yet to happen. So it's going to be a shock and a surprise when Brock Lesnar actually does cash in because he's yet to even remotely try to cash in only when he first won the Money in the Bank briefcase a number of months ago or a number of weeks ago, whatever it was. But tonight at Extreme Rules, there will be extreme measures. There will be extreme caution because both the WWE Champion and the WWE Universal Champion will have to be looking over their shoulder. They have to have eyes behind their head. Because you just don't know when, why, or how Brock Lesnar will cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase. Now, Ringside News uh, went on to say that uh, there's been a little bit of chatter. There's a little bit of chatter, a, lot of, a little bit of rumors of this huge return. That return being that of the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Now, if Brock Lesnar shows up tonight, he can show up. But what title is he going to go after? There's also rumors that a major injury angle or an injury angle could, could take place tonight at Extreme Rules. Now, we all know that extreme times call for extreme measures. And the levels and the lengths that the superstars will go to tonight is going to be absolutely extreme. But, ladies and gentlemen, what would this injury angle be? Would it be to write Shane McMahon off WWE TV? Because, remember, there has been a lot of chalk, talk and chatter about too much Shane McMahon. There's been too much authority. There's been too much... Um, you know, hired guns on the show and Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre. You know, this could only, you know, some people think that this would elevate and this would captivate Drew McIntyre with Shane McMahon's backing. We could see a new corporation for him. But uh, between a huge return and what I would assume could potentially be Brock Lesnar and an injury angle, I can only assume that it would be Brock Lesnar returning and Shane McMahon being injured. But I am not so sure. I am not so sure that is what's going to happen because, again, we will only know once we watch and tune in to watch Extreme Rules tonight live on the WWE Network. So as we always know, the WWE, especially with Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff at the Rillum, and they're they're, they're heading things. They have their fingerprints over everything. Things are bound to go over the extreme and get really, uh, really hardcore, really Will there, will, will there be bloodshed? Will, will, will there be a stretcher? We don't know. Everything is unsaid until tonight at Extreme Rules. Who will be extreme enough to walk out the champion of champions? And will there be an injury angle at Extreme Rules? Subscribe, smash the bell, turn on all notifications. The Brash and Brazen will always be here, but I'll never be mistaken, because I am the face that books this freaking place. Subscribe.